Oh, how do, Matthew? Hello, Angus. Is the afternoon train due soon? Well, been and gone a half an hour ago. There was a passenger dropped off for you. She's waiting for you on the platform. She? <laughs> Not to worry, Matthew. I don't think she bites. Well, it's a boy I've come for. Oh, she won't have any trouble explaining. She has a tongue of her own. <laughs> Suppose you're Mr. Matthew Cuthbert. My name is Anne Shirley. Anne spelt with me. I was beginning to be afraid you weren't coming for me today, so I made up my mind to climb up that big wild cherry tree and wait for you till morning. It would be lovely to sleep in a cherry tree, all silvery in the moonshine, don't you think? Oh yes, it would. I mean no. I mean uh, there's been a big mistake. Oh no, there's no mistake. Not if you're Mr. Matthew Cuthbert. You are Mr. Matthew Cuthbert, aren't you? Mrs. Spencer told me to wait right here for you, so I've done. Most pleasantly, I must say. Oh, this is beautiful country you have here, Mr. Cuthbert. I'm sorry I, I was late. Oh, no, that's fine, thank you. It's very light and thin, like me. I better hold on to my bag. If it isn't carried in a certain way, the handle falls off. I mastered the trick of it on my journey. It's a very old carpet bag. Not at all the sort of luggage I imagine the Lady of Shalott would travel with. But, of course, hers would be suited to a horse-drawn pavilion, and not a train. <laughs> 